Joining us today on MSUEagles.com is former Eagles standout Andrew Doan. He has returned to Moorhead State and is now an assistant football coach here at MSU. And Andrew will be working with uh, both defensive linemen and linebackers moving forward along with a new role as the uh, coordinator of alumni relations. And Andrew, first and foremost, congratulations on coming back to Moorhead State in this coaching uh, role. We're excited about you returning to the Eagle family. You grew up in central Ohio, um, spent your high school years there at Dublin Kaufman High School. Let's first talk about uh, kind of you uh, growing up and, and getting into the game of football as a player. Well, first time I ever played football was in fourth grade, and, uh, you know, I never stopped then all the way up until uh, college. So, I mean, it's, uh, it's always been what I know and what I've loved to do, and, and I'm just glad to be on the other side of the – other side of things now on the coaching side. So it's uh, – it's, uh, it's good to be back here at Moorhead, though. Were you a multiple sport athlete in your younger years, or did you focus on football from the very beginning? I, w I was a multi-sport athlete. I uh, dabbled in some baseball, some lacrosse, uh, did some wrestling, and some, some rec recreation ho hoops also. So I did a little bit of everything. You know, the state of Ohio's got a very good reputation, as far as I'm concerned, for high school football, and I'm sure that you guys... Uh, you probably played with a lot of talented guys and played against a lot of uh, talented players. Just talk a little more about that high school experience and, and what you guys accomplished at Dublin Kaufman. I had some great years uh, playing for Mark Crabtree at Dublin Kaufman. He was a great coach. Uh, you know, my position coach, Coach Kevin Fine, was also uh, still a great friend and uh, you know someone I, I love to uh, meet up with every now and then. And you know, it's uh, it did help me prepare for college, though being able to play at a at a high school level where the competition is, uh, you know, above average. I would say definitely helps prepare you for the the collegiate ranks. You were a defensive end as a player here at Moorhead State from 2006 through 2009. What originally attracted you to to Moorhead State? What got you here? And as you look back on your college career as a player, um, what are some things that pop into your mind? Um, I think one of the biggest things was, I mean, the campus is beautiful. Um, the biggest thing, though, I, I felt was I felt comfortable with the coaches and I felt comfortable with the players that w I was on a visit with and, and everything that I saw just felt like home. It, w it wasn't a specific thing, but it was just the feeling you get, and I think that's the most important thing when you're kind of deciding a school is, is, is kind of the, the people and the experiences that you're going to you know, have for the next four years. You've got to be comfortable with those, those things. So that's what it was for me. In the short time I've known you, I've come to find out you're a very humble guy, but some of the accolades and, and the statistics that you compiled as a player were quite impressive. You were a three-time All-PFL uh, selection, Pioneer Football League, uh, had nearly uh, 20 career sacks and over 40 tackles for loss as an Eagle. Um, just kind of take us through year by year how things went here, and I know you guys enjoyed quite a bit of success when you were a player as well. Yeah, I mean, I... I you know, I had a great career here, and, and uh, you know, freshman year I wasn't able to start, but I was able to earn a starting role for uh, sophomore year and on, and um, just, you know, kept working hard in the off season, and, uh, you know, making sure I do the little things right, and, you know, it paid off on the field, and that's uh, it's, uh, kind of what you got to preach today as a coach. you you got to preach the, the process and the off season and the little things that, that get you ready, and that's kind of... You know, I like to say that's kind of what I uh, emphasized when I was a player as well. Andrew Doan is with us today on MSUEagles.com, a former Eagle football player and now joining the Moorhead State football coaching staff uh, here for 2013 and beyond. And Andrew, this past season you were at another Pioneer Football League school, Butler University up in Indianapolis. You guys were uh, one of three schools to earn a share of the, uh, the Pioneer Football League championship along with San Diego and Drake, 7-1 uh, and one in league play, a great season for the Bulldogs. Just talk about uh, this past year and, you, and your role up there in Indianapolis. I had a great year at Butler. It was, um, you know, we had a lot of great players. We had, I met, was worked with a lot of great coaches that did things the, the, the right way and the best way that, that worked for us on the field, and obviously it paid off. And we had a, a lot of great games, a lot of great moments, and uh, – our kids uh, played hard up there, and it's uh, you know I have nothing but respect for for Butler and the, their program over there. It's uh, you know I'm really thankful that I was able to you know be able to have a, a, my first year of coaching with uh, with Butler University. 
Rob Tenure was obviously promoted to the head coaching position here at Moorhead State after 12 years as an assistant offensive coordinator the past two. Uh, you played um, under Coach Tenure. You were on the opposite side of the ball, but obviously he was with the program the entire time you were a player here at Moorhead State. Just talk about your relationship with your new boss and kind of the, uh, the dialogue that went back and forth and how you ultimately returned to Moorhead State now in a coaching position. We've, we've always had a great relationship. He recruited me out of high school, so I've known him for at least about eight years now, and he's always been an, a passionate, enthusiastic coach. And, you know, when he uh, called and asked uh, me to become a part of the new st staff here at Moorhead, I, I, it didn't take much thought. It was something I, you know, I knew I had to kind of do, and, and uh, I'm excited to be here now. It's, it's, we're ready to get things rolling. Andrew, you're uh, in your first week back, and your first week is a, is a full-time assistant coach here at Moorhead State. And just, um, I guess, take the viewers through the, the priorities in your mind. There's a lot to be done before spring practice begins here in uh, a handful of weeks. And, and we've got a lot of new faces on the coaching staff, and I know that you guys have hit the ground running real hard with recruiting, and you're doing a lot of other things to try to get up to speed as soon as possible, but if there were maybe two or three areas that you yourself would like to focus on before uh, spring practice begins, what would those be? Well, I think one of the, the most important things that you know we're going to try and emphasize with the staff is really really developing the players we have here and and helping the guys on the team now you know we need to get the best out of them because we we know we can compete for a championship uh, in 2013 right off the bat so we're ready to get things going and we're ready to compete at that level right away and uh, obviously yeah we're we're finishing up recruiting right now and that's the lifeblood of any program but but the players that we have now and the and the development with the strength coach Sean Williamson who I've I've seen work and is a great guy he's He's getting them ready right now, and we'll be uh, we'll be ready to have them come uh, spring ball. The Moorhead State Butler game last year up at the Butler Bowl in Indianapolis was back and forth. It was a highly competitive game. I believe it was homecoming for the Bulldogs, and and there was a great crowd on hand. Um, as you were on the opposite sideline coaching against your alma mater in that particular game, what were some of the positive things you noticed about how Moorhead State played, and maybe some things that you guys might be able to take with this program moving forward? Well, I could tell they were they were very prepared. The the game, you know, we uh, we as a Butler staff were at halftime. It was it was it was we were down a little bit, and we knew that Moorhead had some talent on the field, and they they had game planned us pretty well, and and uh, we they had us down down pretty bad. So we uh, you know some things happened near the end, of course, that that led us as uh, at Butler, you know, come back, but. But Moorhead, I mean, they they had they you could tell they prepared well and they had some excellent players on the field and so I'm ready to uh, to get started uh, and work towards another championship season. Let me ask you this, Andrew. Rob Tenure has obviously been around the block here at Moorhead State and and knows the lay of the land, knows the campus, knows the university, knows the Pioneer Football League, knows this part of Kentucky. Uh, Patrick St. Louis and Brett Root are both on the staff with previous MSU experience, but. You know, outside of that, you've got several accomplished football coaches and, and seems like a great group of guys, nice personalities on this coaching staff, but you've got several people who are kind of finding their way here in Eastern Kentucky and with MSU and with the PFL. You know, do you feel like maybe with your background and your experience that you might be able to, to kind of bridge that gap a little bit and get some of the other coaches up to speed? on things that are specific to the university and the league? I think definitely. I mean, it, it starts with the uh, the recruiting and the, and, the, and the types of players that we're, we're trying to get here at Moorhead. That's one big thing. And then, yeah, of course, other little things like finding their way around campuses where the best places to eat at, that's always important. <laughs> sure. And, uh, yeah, just little things like that to, to help everyone gel a little bit more and speed up the process of, of getting ready for spring ball. Well, that's Andrew Doan, a new uh, assistant coach on the Moorhead State football staff, a former Eagle standout as a defensive end here from 2006 to 2009. He'll be focused on the defensive line and linebackers moving forward, along with a new role as the alumni relations coordinator. And Andrew, we wish you all the best. We're glad you're back here, part of the Eagle Athletics family, and uh, we'll be talking to you soon. All right. Thank you.